Uh-oh. That's a bad turnover. What is going on everybody? It is Matthew Snows, the Gold Crease Guardian, excited to bring you another video. Before we get to that, if you have not already, please head down below into the description. There's a link to the ITR Hockey link I am doing with my buddy Ian Roberts, ITR Hockey, and Kirk Allen of Warrior Goalie in Burton, Michigan. If you're in the area and are looking for goalie coaching around Thanksgiving, give that a look. Now let's get to the game. All right, playing against the Beavers in Farmington. We haven't played these guys in a while. In fact, in Farmington, our last four games have been Mitten Sports, Lucent, Mitten Sports, Lucent. That's really tough. Those two teams are really good. We came out of it two and two, which not bad, all things considered. Uh, but it's nice to play a different team in this league. Maybe give ourselves a little bit more of a chance to win. Ooh, good stick on the back check. I might have had that, but Still a really good stick there to make sure that doesn't get on net. Would have been a tough first shot of the game. Oof, that one right in the calf. That one was hurting him all night. Just trying to get that one around a little bit, get it to somebody who could play it out. Unfortunate to kind of lose that puck here. There we go. Or not. A little too hard for my winger, a little too, uh, a little too much open on the back door. You can see I'm seeing that puck all the way, thinking he's gonna shoot, and he finds this guy wide open. I did not take a look. I needed to do a little head check there, find the guy, uh, so I knew where I was pushing. It would have made a big difference. Like here, where I beat that on my feet, make that save, it's not, a lot simpler that way. Being there on my feet, being ready, all of a sudden that saves becoming a little bit easier even if it is a really difficult chance. Familiar Young Guns line out there. Um, Either, they're they're allowed back even though they beat me in the last game. Um, they didn't score too much. I just told them that they had to score a lot in this game. So um, hopefully they can do that. We did tie it up. That's really good. Uh, lots of offensive pressure for us at the start of this one, which is always nice. Like to see that every once in a while. I don't know how he got that all the way up there. That backhand went straight up into the netting. Oh boy. Good save on the cutback. Kind of figured he was gonna cut back with the way he received it. And then right off of my leg, as it goes in on the rebound, um, those are always tough when that happens. Just trying to take up as much space as I can on the ice. And at that point, get my legs closed down as quickly as I can so that the puck doesn't beat in five hole. Ooh! What a stop. Now, uh, he asked me not to put a replay of this in there. Uh, my forward did. Yeah, sorry, Seahawk. I put it in there because you scored on me on Friday night. So, I think we're even now. <laughs> Ooh, good stop there. He's playing a really good game in this first period here. That's three or four massive stops in a row uh, to keep this one-to-one. -one. Really impressive. And there we go. Finally cashing in late in the first period to make it 2-1. to one. I mean, lots of saves from their goalie in the first. Not as many from me in the first period, but 2-1 to one the score. You know what's funny? I faced a lot of quality shots in this first period for not seeing a lot of action, so it, I felt more busy than I was. And that was kind of a common theme throughout most of this game. Like, that's a really tough shot there uh, through bodies in front. But I felt a lot more busy a lot of the time um, than I really was, except for the first couple of nights of this period. They literally had it in our zone the whole time.
And that one is one I would normally like to control, but around the screen from the slot like that, hard when I'm picking it up late. I really don't have an excuse for this one as I just whiff on it with my glove. Uh, Got to make a little toe save there to make up for the fact that I kicked out a bad rebound. But, you know, we're, uh, we're surviving the pressure that they've put on. And after surviving the pressure that they put on, we're rewarded with a goal. Really, really nice. Um, to go up three to one at this point, when you're in that two to one situation and you're out shooting a team the way that we are, it sometimes can feel like whatever happens, like if that puck ends up in our net, it's just gonna be one of those games. So making a bunch of saves to make sure that that didn't happen is really, really key for me in, in this game and in those situations in general. Ooh, another good stop there. That one kind of bounced off of my shoulder on the first one, just trying to seal the short side in the VH. And then a nice little push um, to get my toe on the second chance. He was in tight enough that it wasn't a crazy difficult chance, but he did go across the across the net with it. So good job making that save, I think, by me. Getting into the middle of the second period here, looking for that uh, final whistle before the Zamboni break. And um, we just couldn't get it. <laughs> we kept trying. There was actually an icing that they missed and th this ends up being the Zamboni break, uh, which that really sets the tone for us going forward. Getting up five to one into the Zamboni break is huge. And it got real slick out there off the start, as you can see. I. Uh, Slid on the face of my pad, which I haven't done in a very long time. That was odd. The other really nice thing we had in this game was the nice pegs. I made sure they brought them out for the for us. Ooh, good stop. Puck bounces out off of me on a little uncontrollable bouncer. Just got the toe on it. Really, really good. Um, Uh-oh. That's a bad turnover. I got that one, too. That's okay. Uh, you can't push old, you can't push that through. I will say, I mean, this is just really nice. I read him pretty good on the two on oh. I figured he was gonna go back door with where his stick is, his body language, and I've got a defender coming out of there. Now I make this first save pad down. I go to bring my back leg around and you can see I make the save with the outer roll of my left leg there. Um, probably needed to do a better job keeping my right leg sealed so that he could just jam it over and over again. It wouldn't have made a difference, but either way, whistle blew before the puck went in and I've made three pretty big saves at the start of this uh, period now, or the start of this half of this period rather, after the Zamboni break. Nice pickup. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Bounces it down, toe drags around the defenseman, and goes in and scores. That's a nice goal there. And a good way to end the second period. Now up six to one. And like I said, we're being outshot pretty heavily, or we're out shooting them rather pretty heavily. But I am feeling like I'm quite busy just based on the scoring chances that have happened in this game. Um, I, I love that. If I'm going to see less shots, and this is still a decent amount of shots, um, I don't mind seeing chances like that. What do you guys think? Down in the comments below, maybe. Let me know how you prefer to play a game like that. Do you want to see shots? I mean, most goals do, but do you want to see the quality shots like that, even when you're seeing less? Or do you struggle with that? I'd be curious to know what everyone thinks. Oh, I went.
wanted to play this puck, stumbled and fell over and then just didn't want it to go in on me. That would have been really embarrassing considering there are cameras. So I went very cautious and just made sure the puck stayed in front of me. Uh, and at the other end, we've scored three more in this third period to make it nine to one. Um, running the clock at this point in the game. I mean, I've been on the other end of this recently uh, in this league where we got scored on a lot. So it's kind of nice to be the other way around. Ooh. He, I mean, he shoots this right around the screen. Fake slap shot. Payne thinks he's going to get killed, which I understand. And then he kind of fires this one back against the grain. Uh, because I went down a little bit on the fake shot, I put myself a bit out of position and then tried to push over again when I did not need to. It actually hit the outside of my glove and went in. Um, not my favorite goal to give up, but it is what it is. Uh, nine to two game, that happens. But, you know, you like to make all of the saves that you can, <laughs> obviously. And giving up a goal like that at the end sometimes leaves a sour taste in your mouth. So I was good, I was happy to see a few more shots here at the end, uh, and decent ones again. So nothing wrong with that, leaving me with a little bit of a better taste in my mouth there, and feeling like I've played pretty well throughout this game. Very solid victory that time for the boys. Love to see that. All right, a 9-2 victory there, 34 saves, and four goals saved above average. That's a really, really good game. Like I said throughout, there were a lot more quality scoring chances in their shots um, than just shots, so that made it very, very easy for me to stay engaged mentally in the game. Sometimes I struggle. I mean, 36 shots is a good amount of shots. I think it's a little bit above average per game in the NHL, but... It, sometimes it doesn't feel like a lot when it's spread out and there's sustained periods of pressure and then long stretches where there's not. So for me, making a bunch of saves early and then throughout each stretch of their domination of the play, I guess we can say, helped me to stay mentally engaged, really play a very solid game and get the W. Um, love that. Really fun game. Uh, look forward to playing a little bit of crossover action now. So our league and another league in our area are owned by the same company. So we're going to start doing some crossover games in the next couple of weeks. And I'm really excited to bring those to you. Uh, we don't get to play any ga games against teams that have been on the channel already yet, but there are two teams that have been on the channel that are in the other league. And we will hopefully play them, if not in the next few weeks, later on down the road. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, fun to get a little bit of variety in the teams we play against. So with that being said, so that you don't miss anything, please, if you have not already, head down below, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading videos. On the road to a thousand, we're moving on right along. We're over 900 subscribers. I really appreciate every single one of you. This is a lot of fun for me to do, and I really, really hope that you enjoy the content that I'm putting out. So if you do, a thumbs up goes a long way, subscribing goes a long way. And let me know down below what you want to see moving forward on the channel. If there's anything you want to see different, I would love to hear your feedback. So with that being said, I'll see everybody in the next video.